Hello again. The party manifestos are about to be released. Without perusal, they can be summed up at the very best as unfulfilled promises. In reality, a pack of lies. Those rare promises that are enacted can be guaranteed to work to our absolute detriment. Nobody ever reads these documents apart from those who distill the bullet points to be repeat, reproduced in the media. They won't affect the way in which those who bother to vote cast their ballots. The manifestos are a charade, as the vast majority have already decided their choice. The manifestos merely reinforce the decisions. The result has already been decided, which is a vote for the Tory status quo. The Tory scum will romp home with a massive majority. There is no evidence to the contrary, only illusion. Labour are only campaigning to retain as many seats as possible to make the Tory landslide seem less devastating. Apart from the sterile Tresemo media circus, the Conservatives aren't really bothering to campaign. Why should they? The media are doing the job for them. The Daily Mail, The Sun, The Times, The Tory Graph, The Express, with more than a little help from the far from impartial commentators on TV and in particular the radio. The population are already experiencing a deluge of Tory propaganda. They have been for years. Their manifesto will only reinforce it. As for Labour's manifesto, Watch it get torn to shreds over the next few days. I find it hilarious that the Tories will be posing as a party of the workers. Even more so that a significant proportion of the working population will vote Conservative. Even more ironic is that both campaigns are built upon the personalities of their respective leaders, Theresa May, Jeremy Corbyn and Dim Fallon. This is definitely the cult of the non-personality. I will continue to comment on this election, explain why, against all logic, after seven years of austerity, plunging living standards, the Tories will be delivered by the nation of Turkey's a historic victory. And why Labour, in spite of having nearly half a million mostly new enthusiastic members, will lose and then finally disintegrate, and what it means for the future and for us. Indeed, it could prove to be interesting times. Bye.